This presentation is by Laramie Tolentino from the College of Business and Economics. The title of Laramie's three-minute thesis presentation tonight is The Certainty of Uncertainty. In 1935, The New Yorker published this cover depicting uncertainty during the Great Depression. 79 years have passed, and it still reflects the discouraging job prospects confronting each of us. In Australia alone, a quarter of a million jobs have vanished since the global financial crisis. People are quickly changing jobs, not necessarily because they want to. More and more educated workers are also finding it difficult to secure a full-time job. What's even more alarming is that a growing number of people simply give up and completely disengage from the workforce. Job uncertainty is unescapable. To succeed nowadays, we need to be adaptable. So how come some of us are more adaptable than others? I did my research to understand how individuals make their way in a constantly changing work context. To find out, I profiled 984 individuals at different stages in their careers. I found that those who cope well were able to use effective leader self-knowledge to develop transferable skills and adaptive responses. Let's call these the four C's. By that, I mean concern, control, curiosity, and confidence. Concern is important because industries are disrupted often and jobs become obsolete. So we need to constantly reassess our employability and make sure that we know what the skills gap are in the market. Control and self-direction are vital because careers are no longer organization-driven. We cannot simply rely on, or on our organization to provide us with career opportunities. Curiosity to explore alternative work opportunities are essential. It empowers us because careers now are mobile and boundaryless. Finally, confidence. It is essential because it makes us persist in face of obstacles. This seems common sense, right? Well, strangely, not all well-educated and technically competent individuals are adaptable enough in managing their own careers. We cannot simply assume that age and work experience translates to career insight and resilience. Through my research, we now have a better understanding of what drives career adaptation. We can then use this knowledge to inform educational policies and work programs to be more responsive in empowering individuals to become resilient workers. To conclude, I leave you this question. If you lose your job tomorrow, are you prepared and ready to adapt? 